Well, hello everybody. I am Josh, the leader of Cornerstone Church World, and I'm interviewing Matt and Claire. And these guys uh, oversee and run our youth work. So we want to just touch base with them for a few minutes and just get a catch up about what's going on so that we can be aware and also to pray for them and with them uh, in the current lockdown reality that we're all experiencing, which um, must be incredibly challenging for our youth as well. But firstly, Matt, Claire, why don't you just share just briefly how you guys are doing yourselves, how you guys are experiencing lockdown life at the minute. Yeah, so I'm, um, I'm finding it okay. I think I struggled at first, but I'm definitely getting used to it. Um, missing the human interaction and trying to judge what um, like people are saying to me <laughs> um, without my mind making up um, what they're doing. But yeah, overall it's okay, but I can't wait to be able to meet again for sure. Yeah, definitely. How about you, Matt? Yeah, things going well here. I've been quite blessed in a way because obviously, like, I'm I'm at home. I got sent home from work, and I've been off for nearly four weeks now. So obviously, then so that, while that's was quite challenging, like just like I say, like every day is kind of like the same sort of routine. Like get up, deal with the kids, put the kids to bed. So every day kind of rolls into one. So that's kind of that's quite tough. Right? Everyone's kind of feeling that difficulty being kind of stuck, not you know, stuck in the house. So yeah, apart from that, things are good. Especially like trying to see the the blessings in, in obviously in, in like in, in being stuck in lockdown. Obviously, more time with the family, more time with the kids. So yeah, so that's a yeah. So things are going yeah, they're going well, going well. Yeah, great. So we want to chat about our youth and how we're trying to continue to disciple them even in the midst of lockdowns. So uh, take us back a couple of months. We shared with the whole church. Well, you both shared with the whole church some of the changes we were making. Matt, can you? remind us about what some of those principles were we laid out yeah, it. yeah so it was mainly looking at getting linked into obviously like you know like letters to timothy and obviously you know deuteronomy 6 that sort of thing we were looking at like four like key principles of like the youth works we didn't want it just to be like a youth club so we wanted it to be like something that was frequent like there was like a proximity to it so everyone was like kind of like in it, the way gcs operate in close proximity that we would also operate in that way as a youth and obviously that was consistent. So obviously we'd be meeting regularly. There'd be consistent people. There'd be like this, you know, a good foundation. And obviously there'd be access as well so that everyone could get a hold of each other. People knew who they were going to, who they could speak to, who they could open up to, that sort of thing. So that was the main, I'd say like the main principles of how, of when we set youth up um, a few months back. And obviously that, that led into our, in, into the, the rhythm that we had at the time, which was obviously meeting every other Monday, um, meeting in the foyer at church every other Sunday, having uh, lunch at GC leaders' houses once a month, and obviously having a social once a month. So that's what it you that's what it was looking like when we were before the pandemic, before the lockdown. Yeah, and like most of everybody's plans have all changed quite drastically. So Claire, mm -hmm. what are how have you adapted to that and to continue to disciple the young people? Yeah, so we decided with us being um all separate that increasing those amount like that contact would have been better so now we meet on zoom every monday night and every friday night so the monday night um we alternate in weeks with um matt running the world we all want course so we've been doing that with the, the youth and they've all got books and yeah we're, we've started that with a couple of chapters in and then um every other monday we do a why do we series and we get um different people from like the worship team or pastors or members or whatever and we um ask them questions that we've collected um as a team on on zoom like all like me and matt and the youth and then we ask some questions and get them answered um so that we've been thinking that's been going quite well and then on a friday um yeah it's just a social we play games or um have a bit of a catch up um and then we've introduced what we call a lockdown league um so we send them a challenge in the week um so and it could be anything from like a photo challenge um this week they have to cook for their parents um so yeah it can be anything like that and then they get points um and then also they get points on the friday when we play a game and then we send them out whoever was the winner for that week gets a prize so yeah that's what we've been doing <laughs> I reckon we could do lockdown leagues for every GC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to keep thinking of them now. <laughs> yeah. so what, what just generally, as you spend time with them on Zoom and chat to them, like what are some of the things you're observing, some of the challenges maybe that are particular to them in their stage of life? So I think the most obvious one would be like communicating through this format. Would be the most challenging because obviously I think like, like I, I struggle to, 
to communicate in this sort of environment. Obviously, with the with the youth, well, I can imagine that must be also hard for them. Obviously, in terms of obviously, you know, whereas before we were meeting face to face, and obviously, like an awkward silence wouldn't wouldn't be as <laughs> awkward in face to face, but on Zoom, it really sticks out. So, it's the challenge of how to like communicate through this format, given that it's the only tool that we have at the moment. Yeah, I think as well in general when we usually meet up, like me and Matt can have like little chats one to one. Whilst whilst obviously still in that big group, but um, when we're on a, a Zoom call, we can't exactly just pick one out and like you know really ask them how they're getting on. Um, so I think that's a bit of a challenge as well to make sure that we are like yeah making sure that they're all okay. Um, and I think like they're spending a lot of time with their parents and without their friends, and it's just difficult to like it is for all of us just to not have that interaction with the people who you know you really enjoy spending time with um yeah and I think as well just um I suppose online church is difficult for all of us um so I should, like it's difficult for them as well yeah it's gonna say it's just that challenge of just this rebellion because I know like some people thinking oh it's another three weeks but then again you know it could be another six could be another nine like, we just don't know so imagine for teenagers like the, it must be even more annoying for them because obviously they're used to going out probably they'll have a lot more better social life than most of us old people in the church and olders but you know just that thing of like stuck inside with the you know with your family a lot more than you may be used to that like every aspect of your life now operates in the home so as before you had school you had your friends you had like you know your you know your social activities or your sports clubs or whatever now that's all kind of then being compressed into a screen that you mean at home so it's just a challenge of that and then obviously they're keeping to the rules and like actually social distancing and knowing what that means and obviously that the challenge of knowing that obviously that when things do like settle down a bit like things won't be the same again for probably a long time and just how they how they cope with that how they get their heads around it I think will be a challenge it's a challenge for us so I can imagine it'll be a challenge for them as well yeah well we're so thankful as a church for both of you continuing and uh, persisting and persevering even in the midst of the challenges to keep discipling them is there anything particularly the church could do to help at this time to help you guys and what you're trying to do? Yeah. So, um, I think Fridays with the, um, like the games we've, we've kind of, we've done lots of different things, but we're struggling to keep coming up with ideas. So if anybody has like done any games with family or friends, um, or GCs that they think would be, um, something that we could use, that'd be great. Cause I think it's difficult to keep thinking of ideas and same for the weekly challenges as well um so yeah they're supposed to just be a bit of fun um but yeah if anybody can think of um new ideas for that yeah yeah about gc's their involvement there i think just that gc's keep just getting around getting around it like if obviously if there's a teenager in your gc just getting around them making sure they're okay speaking to them obviously helping out the parents where we can encouraging the parents where we can yeah yeah definitely great well just finally can you give us a couple of things that we could be mindful and prayerful for you yeah so i think um prayer points would definitely be that they just stay motivated so at the moment we've been like really encouraged by them being motivated to join us on the monday and friday um but I think Sundays some of them are finding quite tricky so and like usually they'd ha like have to go to church because mum and dad are going to church or whatever so um I think now it's easier for them to just go into their room when the service is on um or whatever so I think that would be a real um point of prayer and as, like Matt mentioned before just like the parents as well it must be difficult for them um I'll let you go before I carry on Matt in case <laughs> I say them all <laughs> yeah just like again just prayer for like encouragement and that we continue to meet frequently that we're consistent you know that, that we're that we're reachable that obviously that you know during this difficult time that we, we stay true to again like what what god wants us to do in this time and that we're focused and we've got our eyes fixed on him so we're not just uh, in the grind of oh we've got to do this oh, i've not thought of that i've got to do this again and that and that kind of speaks to us to the parents to the youth that we're all kind of again just keep our eyes on what's important and don't kind of get stuck you know just trudge down in the day to day groundhog day back and forth of the of the lockdown as it currently is. Yeah, yeah. well go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say sometimes um it's quite tricky for me and Matt to stay um almost like motivated in it ourselves. So I think it would be great if me and Matt can have some prayer on um because it is um yeah definitely more frequently than we'd originally anticipated. So that would be helpful as well. And 
just for the youth like for when this is over like that transition back in and hopefully that the communication like carries on and um, we had like really built some good relationships before lockdown and we're trying our best to keep them but yeah that, that just kind of goes back to normal when lockdown's over as well yeah i think finally i'll just pray for like thankfulness obviously since like since the format's changed like, you know it's not just been me and claire talking to each other it's like you know like the youth and their parents like everyone's involved and that's just showing so encouraging because you think when this happened that this was one of the first things like now nah, I'm not going to do that now but like but it's kept up so just really pray like thanks for that that it has kept up and that we've continued to although diff, you know in a different format continue to build those relationships that's been really really encouraging awesome thanks so much for sharing uh, and we will continue to pray for you you and the youth uh, we're thankful for all that you're doing uh, and that's we look forward to hearing some more updates in the coming weeks and if anybody has anything that they can help with the youth or these guys, then just get in touch with one, one of them or one of your DC leaders and they can pass it on to them. Thanks. Thank you.